Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about vectors, which are general purpose arrays whose elements can be any Lisp object. Those elements are accessible in constant time. And let's create our first vector with the function vector. We pass it the argument that we want to have as an element. So we pass it free argument. Now we evaluate and we get that vector uh, with the brackets notation. Uh, we uh, note that uh, that sum has been evaluated before uh, uh, being set as the first uh, element of the vector that we uh, produce. Uh, if we use the brackets uh, notation to produce a vector, we see that this is no longer uh, the case. Let's uh, start with another vector uh, with the symbol a, b, uh, c. So we have that vector that we uh, evaluate. And now let's say that we want uh, the first element of that vector. So we use the function rf, we pass it the vector on the uh, index. So we get a, the symbol a. And uh, now we would like to set the first element to uh, the uh, symbol foo. So we can do that with the function asset. Uh, this is what we get and we can check that the vector 1 has been modified and the first value has been set to foo. Now, if we at some point we get some uh, vector and we want to uh, do some work on it but not modify directly uh, its uh, value. So we can use the function setCopy that uh, does a shallow copy of uh, the vector 1 into the vector uh, 2. So now if we set, for instance, uh, the value, the first element of the vector 2 to uh, bar, we get that. We see that vect2 uh, is at this first element set to bar and vect1 hasn't changed. That's it for today.